let's plug in the power and see what will happen. Not too much really. I read the instructions last night and I think I know how to set it up just like I wanted to. But since I do not have a soldering iron here, I tried to, to squeeze in some cables, but uh, I gave up. So I will just make a simple test with this pulse generator here, and then I will have to make future video on how to set up this one for CNC, like CNC steppers and for spindle drive. and. Hopefully how to shift between those two with some signal. So what needs to be done before the motor will start to function is that uh, I think PN003 needs to be set to 1. And this one is set to 0 as default and that means that uh, one have to connect a line that gives a signal that uh, powers or enables the driver. But with this setting, one can choose that uh, one don't need that signal. So let's try and get into the man menu here. Had to check the instruction, but I, I just pressed on mod here a couple of times until PN arrived and now we need to go to number three and then hopefully need to press set here perhaps not All right so I had to push down set for a while and then release it and now I will have to set this one to to one, I think, and then it should be long hold, I think. But I gotta check. Yeah. Now one can actually hear that something, the motor got some power. So let's try and give it some, some pulse and see what will happen. There we go. So super nice that it seemed to work. Today is a great day. Really like Acer Servo. Good first impression. And had the ambition yesterday to connect it exactly like I plan to have it on the lathe. But um, without the soldering iron, iron, I tried to stick some cables in there and um, just wasn't a very good idea. I would not like to, to short anything on my new driver, so that will have to wait. So I will post two videos in the future. One is for setting it up as stepper motor or like a stepper motor and the other one will be for spindle drive. And hopefully also I will be able to use both modes in uh, in a program I'm running on the lathe so that I can first do some turning and then go back to zero, absolute zero and from there 
shift to using it as a stepper motor. And yeah, I checked everything up according to the instructions, so I'm pretty confident that, that it, it will work. I had some issues at first grasping how to 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 get it to work like that using both modes and shifting between them and perhaps it's uh, obvious to you but it wasn't obvious to me since this is my first AC servo but there are four outputs here on this one and also four inputs and when I first read the instructions I read what the different pins we do and it was not enough with four pins for, for, what, for what I needed. So after some more reading, I then realized that it's possible to go into the settings here and change what the pins here will do. Now it feels very obvious, but I didn't didn't really get it since uh, how it uh, how it stood in the manual it was like uh, signal output through this and I thought it, it was like that so but it wasn't so good to know that and if you didn't know now you know but I think I will end this video here. Hopefully the corona situation is getting getting uh, better soon. I really want to go to the garage and work some of my projects. Take care and have a nice weekend and um, if you haven't subscribed already feel free to subscribe and, and please press thumbs up Really like that. See ya.